This is the, the heart of what once was a very large horse ranch. At one point, the farm uh, made up the majority of the county. And now uh, we just have what was the heart of the farm, 11 acres. We have the tallest uh, uh, grist mill in the state of Ohio, just up river here. Um, and uh, at one point, that was a big trading post before Ohio was even the state. So there's a lot of rich history here. Growing up as a kid, um, I always loved to go hang out at this fall area. And, um, you know, it's uh, all the natural beauty uh, that comes with this piece of land. When my family, you know, ended up buying the farm 10 years ago, it was pretty exciting. The fact that we were just sitting on this fantastic water source uh, is truly a gift. We're situated, this is basically the headwaters of the Hawking River, um, which kind of, you know, runs along the border of our property. When I was looking into the Old World method of brewing Cezanne, uh, Dennis, my stepfather, uh, decided to just have the, the water analyzed. When Dennis gave me the uh, minerality uh, breakdown, I got really excited because there's a lot of similarities. Most people, they'll have certain elements of the water that they need to treat, so for us to be able to take it right out of the ground and not do anything to it is, uh, is really a wonderful gift in the water. So what we're going to try next is, uh, is pretty much the inspiration behind this brewery. Saison uh, is in the farmhouse ale category. Saison uh, came about or came onto the scene in a region of the world called Wallonia, which is southern Belgium. It's the French speaking region of the country. And Saison uh, de Pont is the first Saison to be imported in the United States. It's kind of the quintessential version of the style. And that's the beer that turned me on to craft beer. Saison, I would say, is probably the most esoteric beer category in the world. And I'd also say it's more of a mindset than a beer style. Saison came about prior to the invention of refrigeration. So uh, picture, you know, southern Belgium, uh, every major farm having its own brewery. You know, clean water wasn't all that common back then. So uh, beer, part of the process is boiling the wort, uh, so that would make it safe source of hydration. And then in terms of liquid bread, calorically, it was a significant uh, source of energy. The origins of that style really fascinated me because these farmers, they utilize what they had on hand. What I love about the category today is that uh, modern day brewers, I feel like have done a wonderful job of maintaining that mindset. This used to be the horse stables of Rock Mill Farms, uh, which was a horse ranch. And we have since turned the stables, what used to be the stables, into the brewery. One of the cool things about Rock Mill beer is the fact that you can you can have a great tasting beer and, and the place that it comes from, everything goes into it. There's a, there's a certain mystique that Rock Mill Farm has. The whole property itself adds to the beer. I'm not interested in being a, a massive brewery by any means. Um, I like uh, that we're doing things small um, and that uh, when people do come out here, um, you know, it's an intimate experience and they're able to connect with the land and the water along with the beer. But uh, off the farm, you know, I think we, um, we tend to make choices in uh, what we drink. Um, what we eat, where we go, you know, certain aesthetics that we gravitate towards um, that uh, are become a part of who we are. You know, living in larger cities for a while, I felt like I would kind of miss that urban vibe here on the farm, kind of, you know, away from that energy. And uh, I immediately found myself being so relaxed and loving it out here with more space, more land. And, uh, and less distraction. And I love the focus that came with that in trying to develop this brewery concept. Um, I tend to really just make beers that I love. 
And so far, uh, people are, are responding uh, wonderfully to it. So, and that's that whole process of sharing the beers uh, that I created with my hands has been pretty fantastic.